Earlier this year I made a video called It's Not About the Honey. Today, it is about the honey. So I've been a beekeeper for three full seasons now. It is the last weekend of September 2018. So if you remember last season, a year ago, I pulled two frames out of three hives, two total frames. And I harvested it and I wanted to have a taste of the honey. And it was great. We got two quarts of honey last year. This year, we have an extractor and I'm going to take a significant amount of honey off these hives today. Now, I'm only gonna be taking honey off of the big hives, basically new package hive, Balboa, and the Russians. All right, here we go. The maiden voyage of the extractor. We've got 15 medium frames out of three hives and we have three deep frames. This one is not completely capped. Some of these are not completely capped, but they're not dripping. So I believe the honey is, is good. This frame and this frame came out of the hive this summer. So that is spring honey. And then there's, there's probably three mediums in here that are also like spring honey. They're very light. So I'm gonna do those first and see what we get from those. And then we're gonna do the darker fall honey. And this is my little uncapping tank that I made. Got a tub, got a uh, piece of oak here with the spike. I cut out the bottom of the tub and I put a queen excluder down there to catch the cappings. And I'm just gonna cut and drip into this bottom tray we're not gonna, this isn't gonna be super ton of honey going into that bottom tray, so I don't need a big tub. And I don't know if you see right here, I've got a uh, work light underneath the tank to warm this up because this was pretty cold from the day. So it's warming up now. So the honey will flow. All right, we're also not doing anything fancy here. We've got a, just a cold knife. And uh, here we go, our first uncapping ever. This is, uh, like I said, this is spring honey. This is probably, you know, dandelion and apple and been waiting to do this all summer. Wow, super light golden honey. Got my fork here. Just get those caps off. This smells so amazing. Oh, now I can smell it. Smell like, that? Yeah. It smells like honey. Yeah. And it smells All like right. honey. This is going right in. All right. This is from the Russian hive. This came out of Balboa. And it, it is extremely light. Because I'm doing the deeps, I have to spin them so they are spinning this way and the honey's gonna spin out into the side here. Uh, and I only had two deeps and then I have a couple of mediums here and I'm hoping this works. I'm hoping the weight will balance. These are much heavier and then there's two over here. I don't know, this could be a disaster. It's my first time. I'm gonna turn on slow and see what happens. Definitely hitting the sides. It's 
definitely not balanced, but there is honey coming out. I can see it down there. This is another mismatch one. We've got uh, one deep and four mediums. One thing's for sure, this extractor is extremely quiet. I'm just talking normal voice right now. And the motor is about 60%. It's just so quiet. Turn this around because it's the other side's empty, it's getting unbalanced. Just ran that for about 30 minutes, maybe even more. You do have to tilt the tank to get the last bits out. All right, so we have nine frames in here. There's two, four, six going radially, and then uh, three going tangentially. So I start this thing up and. Halfway through, we got to flip these around, but these stay just like that. All right, the extractor has finished spinning. I removed the frames and we have a uh, sort of wax and honey all in here. There's there's quite a good amount of honey in there that I'm gonna tip out now. It doesn't all flow out. You do have to tip it forward to get the honey out. And then the last step here is the capping bucket, which has been dripping all night. goes right in too. So there's just about four gallons in here, plus we got one more gallon of the summer honey. So about five gallons of honey total out of 18 frames, 15 mediums and three deeps. So here's the final result. This was the first draw that I did uh, that came out of the three frames that were the lighter summer honey, the stuff that was probably uh, harvest, or harvested by the bees in June, July. And this is actually this. So it comes out of here. This, this looks a little dark in, in the bucket, but it came out super light. So, this is spring honey, spring summer honey, and this is what came out of the five gallon bucket, the goldenrod, the fall honey. So, very different. So this is the springtime, probably a lot of dandelion, apple blossoms. It's just super light. It's like just really floral. 
I don't know how to use words to describe honey. It's just really, really light and really clean. And then this is the goldenrod, the darker stuff, which everyone says has a smell of gym socks or something like that. When the bees are reducing it, the hive does give off a very distinct smell, but I never get that taste when I'm tasting the honey. I'd say this is almost sweeter. It's like a, it's like a sweeter, higher, sugary honey. It just tastes like fall to me. They're both just great. It's very exciting. I'm really glad that I was able to separate and get two different colors of honey. So uh, that's, that's the taste test. Everything's great. And I kept coming back to Maxent. Just a lot of people saying that it's the top of the line, it's the best. Lucky for me, this extractor happens to be made about 30 minutes from my house. So this is actually a local purchase for me. Mm -hmm.